Good evening, this is Soa Mahas, the Soa Mahas, uh, Dr. Andrew Verstitian, the Soa Mahas. So today's uh, network, we're going to talk about the progression from uh, neophyte yogi to uh, one that can do samadhi. Samadhi is defined as when consciousness touches the crown or escapes the crown, the crown being the top of the head, that would be samadhi. Consciousness being the inner kundalini, the consciousness that moves up the spine from the sacrum or coccyx, coccyx I should say, up through the sacrum to the lumbar, to the heart, to the throat, to the third eye, and up to the top of the crown, that would be samadhi. Savikapa has a basic samadhi where consciousness touches the crown, enlightenment sets in. So what is the progression? The progression is such <laughs> that uh, you begin by someone initiating you or you beginning a technique. So what are the basic techniques? The basic techniques are threefold. Counting in the order of one to two, where in-breath is one-fold and, two breath, and out-breath is two-fold. So if you're breathing in, during uh, a count of 16, then the out-breath should be 32. If your breathing in is a count of 20, your out-breath is a count of 40. And you do su successions of those. So that's the first Kriya. The second Kriya is, is rotating consciousness up and around the spine, up the Inda and down the Pingala. The third one would be and these are shortcuts. The third one would be meditating on the fifth on in breath and fourth on out breath. You can hold also fifth and, and fourth at the same time, but that consciously that's pretty hard. So breathing in on fifth and breathing out on fourth. The nature of those three used as often as possible with tongue up. And back in Shkari Mudra, where the tongue is trying to touch the uvula. This is important. <clears throat> During increasing rounds from 16 in the morning and 16 at night to 32 in the morning and 32 at night after one or two months of doing the 16 and 16, where a Korea is defined as an in-breath to an out-breath, and the 16 would be 16 repetitions of in-breath to out-breath with the meditational, either the counting, one to two, the rotational kriyas or the chakras five and four. Those are the kriyas. You would do one, two, or three as many times as you possibly can until you start getting a gag reflex or as if you're going to throw up, then you do some emptiness meditation. At the point where the tongue is able to go up and back to the back of the uvula while you're doing these kriyas, and a fluid is released from the midbrain, Tastes sweet in the mouth, uh, the tongue, you will taste it, you will taste sweet, you swallow that, it'll be bitter in the stomach. When it reaches down into your stomach, it'll taste bitter. At that point, those cities are yours. <clears throat> Five, four is light body development. Hit a pingle is the achievement of desire. And counting is incorruptibility, and these are the shortcuts. To developing and becoming a Siddha. First stage. So that first stage complete, what would it do? It would open the fifth notch. How do we open fourth notch? Fourth notch is defined as uh, the self-love and the ability to understand that should anything come in front of you or behind you or to the left or the right, Essentially, if any good thing comes in the way of your progression to become one with source or allow source to become your guru, your guidance, your aspiration, your heart, then you let go of that. It should be your number one. Number one is liberation. How do we open that? Through a lot of chin locks. Holding consciousness, forcing consciousness, Forcing consciousness up the spine as we're chin-locked tight, very tight, uh, very super tight. 
that would open the fourth chakra, a fourth notch, I should say, a fourth notch. How do we open the third notch? Third notch is done with prone supermans where the ankles are grabbed with the hands behind the back, laying on your stomach, that's prone, arching up on your flat of your stomach, stomach, trying to go into samadhi that way. The more you do, often you do that, the stronger you get, the more uh, able you are to open the, uh, the third notch. The second notch opens with sexual limitation, but sexual increasing of brahmacharya. Brahmacharya is another kriya we can do. We can either do it during tantras, or we can do it in resting lotus or any other meditational position. Where the consciousness moves, uh, the kriya is you move consciousness, or breathing, I should say, uh, breathing from pulling energy from the scrotum or the clitoris into the coccyx, moving it up the spine, all the way up, 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 to the third eye on inspiration and holding there on expiration. That is how we open, predominantly using that create to open the second notch. The first notch opens up with a guru initiation. We're looking within the body. So we know excessive, uh, excessive kriyas will open the fifth notch, fifth notch defined as the ability to enter shikari often. So we use the mudras. We use the mudras in the, the Babaji's, the Samam Haas, uh, uh, deathless mudras. There are all the mudras on Amazon that are important for developing immortality and the opening of the Shikari Mudra and the, the opening of the fifth notch. <coughs> the sixth notch opens through third eye gazing. As well as the seventh going, sixth and seventh as the penetration of penetration of the skull, the seventh through the Kriya defined as uh, a Siddha Kriya, where there is, I mean, there's multiple uh, Kriyas that do this, but there's one Kriya specifically that I used, uh, where you focus on the third eye, but the intention of the consciousness is at the first chakra, the first chakra. So you're holding consciousness at the first chakra while the eyes are gazing up to the third eye. And holding that until <coughs> until consciousness escapes up through the the, the 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 skull, you'll feel consciousness or energy moving up the spine as you're looking up at the third eye, with intention held at the first chakra, the coccyx. You will feel the whole of the coccyx when you hold that. Hold the tension there. When you have it, hold it. Consciousness will move up the spine, up through the third eye, up through the top of the skull and penetrate. And that is what you need to develop the next stage of uh, samadhis, which are the Nerva Kappa samadhis. And that's this uh, recording. Hope you had a good night.